with the trailer for Venom The Last Dance officially here. Let's go back and look at everything that the trailer shows us for a little breakdown action. So let's get to it. <laughs> So I got every frame in this sequentially so we can just talk about it. So here is our first look at Venom The Last Dance and we can clearly tell I think that this is meant to look like that he's right now stumbling out of the whole multiverse situation he was in with Spider-Man No Way Home and that might very well be the case like he has a stash over here that he's left uh, somewhere in the world. Obviously. You would assume it's probably somewhere in Mexico where he ended up, but who really knows? But the interesting thing here is that obviously he faces off against a bunch of goons, and we see that him and the symbiote are a lot more um, symbiotic in nature and working a lot better together, which is important to this film as it's the last dance, and obviously they're pushing that this could be like the death of the Venom symbiote. And, you know, this film is going to vary things up, especially when it comes to location. Just by looking at this, obviously, we got a military base out in the desert where they seem to be operating. I'm going to guess it's like Area 51 adjacent just because we see that Venom is near Vegas. And Vegas is relatively close. I mean, not too close, but relatively close to Area 51. So my guess is that that's a stand-in. And they're obviously, the military guys are capturing and studying symbiotes and as we find out in this the symbiotes are coming to earth but there's still like remaining pieces of symbiotes left that they're trying to lock down and by the look of it subdue and also i'm assuming weaponize and uh we see the main bad guy in this we don't know his name obviously we've all seen him in the mcu as it is playing baron mordo um here he was rumored to be possibly playing a sorcerer doesn't look like it but we did hear he could be a bootleg Iron Man. And well, um, these suits indicate to me that maybe there is a military ops and he might sort of be uh, a bootleg Iron Man who's chasing Tom Hardy's Venom who escapes the facility. And well, they're on their way anywhere but there. Now, this is where the interesting rumors of Spider-Man being in this come in, and that they're going to go to New York after him, but there doesn't seem to be any indication here of that at all, so I'm guessing that's a non-factor in this. We do see Venom being chased down, though, and um, we see, well, Eddie in multiple locations, again, like I mentioned, Vegas, but funny enough, they found a way to work mrs chang in this and i think that's absolutely hilarious here comes your uh venom billion dollars or ven billions or simp billions whatever you want to call it right here this scene alone um but yeah uh, it looks like we're gonna get a little bit of a road trip a little bit of venom on the run and him uh ultimately facing off against his strongest and biggest foe yet which is the coming of the symbiote now we don't really know if they're being led by no or anything like that it could very much be a thing in this we just don't know just yet for those that don't know no is like the symbiote god that was recently introduced in like the last 10 years in the comics and we see that some of these uh symbiote uh, creatures native to the planet are here as well sort of invading earth after that shower of asteroids whatever you know um or maybe it's just the symbiotes crashing down. I don't know. Maybe they're that resistive to uh, re-entry of the atmosphere. So who really knows? I guess the film will explain it. Or maybe not. It's a Venom film. I don't know. But again, we see that there is a big focus on Venom on the run. Venom is becoming like the good guy here, right? And I like that approach to it because... Obviously, I think the Venom, Symbio, and Eddie are both going to learn from what they saw and what's going on and try to be better. And since this is the last film, I think you kind of give them a swan song, right? So we're definitely getting that here. And just by looking at it, it seems to feature a decent amount of action, way more than we saw in the first two films, which I think will definitely interest a lot of people. And um, we even see the crazy effects that the Symbio can have on other things that are living like a venomized horse yeah that'll be cool that'll be cool to see i'm pretty sure it's a great action sequence so um definitely gonna have a lot of fun with this one i can sense it uh i'm excited 
end of October, and um, hopefully this film delivers a satisfying conclusion to a weird trilogy. Oh, my God.